Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes. And mini me, that's Connor. Good morning. Check him out on YouTube. Connor Dyack, D and D Auto Sales in Daytona Beach, Florida. That's me. There'll be a link down in the description box down below. Anyway, we just finished breakfast at Mitchell's. Mitchell's in Valley Stream. Here we are, Valley Stream. Look, beautiful Main Street. Main Street. Connor's gonna hop in the J Wagon and I'm gonna hop in the Benz. We're gonna go see Taj Mahal's today. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, and let me get your thoughts and feedback later on in the comment section down below. All right, let's get the day started. And just one quick thing, just one quick thing. What's up with all of these, these, these idiots from Massachusetts? Look at this guy commenting, right? Look at that. He goes, Zachary, you are a scammer. Come talk to a real Massachusetts plumber. You guys have no experience. What's wrong with these people from Massachusetts? Why do they want to start with New Yorkers? Don't you know I'll break kneecaps to give you cement shoes? They don't know, and if you don't know, watch this. If you're this. not calling Mikey Pipes, you're getting screwed. There you go. Damn, That's you should right. got flipped, bro. Damn! Hope everyone's okay, though. All, fun, all joking aside, you know, as long as everyone's all right, no one got hurt, it's good. But someone was driving recklessly. Recklessly. But us in New York, we drive with a purpose. Unlike you clowns up in Massachusetts, you know, drive around bread trucks and want to start drama. Drama, Zachary. Why don't you come to New York and let me show you how, how a real man lays some pipe. All right? Let me show you. You ready for that, Zachary? All right. Almost at my next service call. YouTube subscriber, and he told me, listen, Mike, you're gonna love my house. It's like one of those Taj Mahals that you work in. And I happen to agree. Taj Mahal land. Let's go see what's going on. We're going to DuPont Estates. Over here on the Gold Coast. Gold Coast. All right, let me find his crib. All I know is I see gates and I see walls, fortresses. I think it's this one here. We'll see. Oh, I love. I love Gates. I love Gates. Gotta love Gates. Say Taj Mahal's. Let's say hi. All right. Let's see what's going on in this Taj Mahal. Oh man, the guy's got his own pond, like Conrad in, in South Carolina. Man, I love me Taj Mahal's. And these guys call me a crook. I was told to go to the garage. I guess that's where the service people go. It's very nice. It's very nice, very nice. Oh, I got myself four car garage. Oh, very nice. Nicey nice. It's nicey nice. It's a nicey nice. Oh, is that a Goodman? I don't get it. People have these Taj Mahals with Goodmans. Damn. Let's go say hi. Good morning. How are you, ma'am? Good. Okay. So you were filled in on what's going on? I understand you have a relay noise. Relay delays? Hold on. Uh, okay, so where's a relay? All I know is it doesn't work. What does it tell me what doesn't work? My daughter's system, the air conditioning, is not working. So it's a relay. No, your husband had emailed me something about a an Argo box on a boiler, but I'll oh, fix. Oh, that. Okay, yeah. that's what you're here for. Well, I'll fix whatever you like. We do Hi. air conditioning too, the, but the Mikey pipes is here for the box and the boiler, or for the air conditioning? Uh huh. Hold on. Box and the boiler. Pressure. And Jordan's water pressure. Okay, so you're okay. Fine. All right, got it. Those are the two things I went over. Okay. Yes. All right. Great. Thank you. Okay. So air conditioning, you're following up on your guy. Uh, yeah. Air conditioning, I gotta fix with this guy, and then I'm gonna give it all to him. Okay. Thank Sounds you. like a plan. All right. Perfect. Let me show you where nice. the relay is. So we get ticking noises. Okay. From there, is that where the relay is? Yes. That's your area. Okay. How often do these ticking noises occur? Usually it's always. Yeah. Right now he must have turned it off, I'm assuming. 
Okay, let me investigate. Okay. Let me get some tools in the truck. All right, you know. Yep, I know my, my way around. Awfully warm in here, though. It is, no? Yeah. Huh, all right. How else can I fix that? I mean, it's a boiler room, but... It's a boiler room, and there's these ducks, which I hope lead outside. Yes. And I don't think that's going to be enough air for these things to run, but we'll figure that out. All right. You're in good hands. Oh. By the way, very, very nice. Very, very nice. And even that Ferrari over there. Oh, I love me Taj Mahal's. Love me Taj Mahal's. All right, let's get some tools in the truck. Let's figure out what's going on with this Argo right. box. Let's see what this guy's got. He's got a bunch of domestic cold and hot water isolation valves here. Very, very nice. Look at that. Domestic cold, domestic hot recirculating, domestic hot. He's got a phase three. It looks like a 125 gallon indirect water heater. Very, very nice. It's a nice thermostatic mixing valve there. There's an expansion tank in the right orientation. Perfect. We have a bronze Taco circulator for recirculating, an aquastat, some check valves. That's all, co that's all proper. And one thing I don't see here is any PEX. I just see copper. And God bless the plumber who put all this in. We'll get to that in a second. We have a Badaris 2, Badaris uh, Longo G2. 34s one and two staged in i'm sure there's a tech mark control here somewhere somewhere where's the tech mark control i don't see it in here it's probably in another room but you need a tech mark control when you want to stage boilers i'm a little confused uh concerned about the temperature in this room but also the lack of proper combustion there this, I, have, I even haven't even checked how many BTUs this thing is. 228. So we have a quarter million BTUs and a quarter million BTUs. Oh, it's done through this, by the way. And that's half a million BTUs and that's five inch round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not enough. Not enough makeup here in here. Definitely not. Definitely not enough makeup there. I got an Amtrol expansion tank in the back. Very nice. I don't see any drain. It's gonna suck for the guys gotta change that. Sure is. Spiral vent. Very nice. More piping. Very nice. Overall, beautiful, beautiful install. With the exception of proper makeup there. All right, his complaint. This zone relay chatters all the time. And of course, the doctor is in the house and it's not making any noise. So he had me, turn, told me to turn off all the thermostats, which are up here, and we're gonna wait. While we're waiting, I'm also gonna check a faucet upstairs for him. But one thing I noticed is that this transformer is feeding common on all these. See that? That's no good. That may be part of the problem. We'll find out, I guess. Got a unifier out of there. But in the, in the meantime, let's go check out the shower issue. Bam. I think it's bigger than my backyard. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's crazy. Bigger than my backyard. Wow. Let's check the pressure here. All right, so. Is that right? Got some intensity here. All right, this is not, this is a good bathroom. All right, let's go check out the other bathroom. All right. She's good now. Wanna know why she's good? I'm gonna show you. See that? Took the restrictor out. Yep. When you live in Taj Mahal, you don't need restrictors. So I just use the step bit to grab it, poke it, and then pulled it out. Now she's good. Much better. Much, much better. All right, let's see if we can find this relay making noise. Right, so I fixed that uh, a shower issue, and now let's go back to this relay, which is acting, acting proper, but a good technician is observant of his surroundings. Let's take a look. See that? That's 24 volt connection, right? 
and you have 24 volt AC at one VA. Now, I know that we could backfeed, let's say the transformer here died. I know I can backfeed 24 volts there. I also know I could take this for a few thermostats, right? But there's a limitation. But I have what appears to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, five. One, two, three, four, five. These five thermostats, which are these Prolipics Wi Fi thermostats, I'm curious as to see if it's taking too much power. Um, I pulled up the PDF manual for this. And it told me 45 MA is the power. 45 MA per stat. And if you do the math, these, even 10 of these would equal half a VA, unless I'm doing the math wrong, but I'm still hearing this thermostat, sorry, this transformer humming. And it's, it's hot as F. So what I'm going to do, I am going to, I'm going to take off power there and see if this humming stops. All right, I removed both of those, but the noise did not stop from this transformer, the humming. I'm going to test amperage here and see what we have. I don't think we have anything, but I just wanna, I'm just curious to see what we have there. Interesting. I'm using 0.1 amps. And nothing is on. So let's pull the 24 volts there, which I think is going to these thermostats and see if that goes away. All right, now I'm at point two. Why is this transformer, or why is this box using point two? Interesting. Let's test it on this one. Get in there with that right there. Get in there, buddy. See? Nothing on this one. Nothing on this one. No, point one. Point one. Interesting. And this one's point two. I don't know. I don't know. I can't duplicate the problem of the chattering. Transformers is loud. But I guess this one's kind of not as loud though, but point one. And point two. I wonder if the transformer's dying. Take a look at this. Why is it spazzing out like that? See that? We don't have a control problem. We have a stat problem. Even though they're all off. That's not normal. All right, let's figure out something here. I am not leaving here without finding the problem. Let's check out these zone valves. All right. And, but first, I'm gonna show you a video. See that? None of those zones below are illuminating. All right, now. Let's see if I can duplicate that. Let's go to Mosaic B. I'm just gonna push this forcing, see what happens, just curious. See that? Let me do that again for you. I'm gonna zoom in. Mosaic B, here we go. But it's also one of the zones came on though. Hmm. Let's see. 
No, nothing on that one. Foyer. See? Back to mosaic. And this second floor bath green. Uh, I didn't push it hard enough. Let's go back to it. Okay. Mosaic B. Huh. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. This is, this why, is why they call me St. Mike. And I'm not bullshitting you. Oh, I love all of you. And this is great food. See that? It says mosaic bath. Watch this. All right. Sorry, I try to do this one-handed. Right there, there's a little, there's a little button. It's called the end switch. I'm gonna push in this end switch. Hold on. Where are you, end switch? There you are. Look at that. See that? It's doing it, ladies and gentlemen. It's doing it. Let me show you one-handed, trying to do this. Look. I have the end switch pushed in for mosaic bath. There you go, problem solved. Damn, I'm good. Let me pat myself in the back. Ah, I love it. Mosaic bath. Who would have thought mosaic bath is the problem? But, yes, granted, I spent about an hour and a half here. Yeah, I took Restrict out of the shower, and unfortunately, she's still complaining there's not enough pressure. She didn't say volume. She said pressure. Maybe the pressure balancing spool in the cart in the, in the shower body is bad. We could do that. We could try that. Let me call. Let me give them the good news. And I know some of you are saying right now, well, Mikey Pipes, you're just pushing in on the end switch. Maybe the zone valve isn't bad. Hogwash. And I'm going to prove it. All right. I made myself a little more wiggle room because just in case this end switch or the zone valve wasn't bad, at least I could just put this back in together with some Wagos and make it look nice and pretty, right? This is end switch. The two wires. This is actually TT. You know, let me show you. This, These two, if when I go like... Like that, touch them two together. You see, we're good. Nice and peaceful and quiet. However, when it was connected to this end switch, right, which is right in there, all right, try to sh show you, right in there, guys. See that little button right there? When it's connected to that, no bueno. He's getting a new zone valve. Excellent thing. This is just beautiful. Look at this. It's matte white, right? And man, this is probably brand F and new. I'm very curious to see what year this car is. You know, curiosity killed the cat. Jesus Christ, it's, a, it's only two years old. Let me stay far away from this bad boy. Wow. Oh. Wow. Gorgeous. I got some dirt on that, buddy. You got some dirt right there on your matte white Ferrari. Look at the seating interior, by the way. I went to the truck to get the zone valve and I just couldn't help but stare at this car. Look at that. Wouldn't you love to sit in that seat right there, listening to your some music on your iPhone? You know, and it's, <laughs> he only, not only does it have that one Ferrari, he's got the Porsche 911 above it, and the other Ferrari over there. Man, I just drive around the Benz in a J-Wagon. I can't even get a G-Wagon because they're two, month, two years back ordered. Oh, man. <sighs> Damn. All right, let's go put his Honeywell zone valve in. Oh, I never saw something like that before. You only see stuff like this when you're in a Taj Mahal. Oh my God. 
You know about you know about Mr. Taj Mahal guy. Why are you drinking bottled water? Unless it's Oh, come on. At least get the stuff in the glass bottle. Come on. I think maybe I need to sell you a drinking water system and get rid of this thing. You know, with the chiller. With the chiller and the instant hot. Drinking water system. That's what you need in your kitchen. Maybe even your master bedroom. I got a wet bar in mine. All right. But one observation that will bring to his attention. We have insufficient makeup air in this room. It's just plain and simple. When I got here, I believe this door was, was closed, right? And no bueno, you need more air here. We need to give you some kind of, uh, you know, maybe a couple fan in the cans, at least a couple. And I wouldn't even just have, I would just have it running year round. You know, just 24 seven. This is five inch or six inch. Let's see. This is five inch. Five, 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 five. You know what? I get two fan in the cans. One here, one there. And just have them plugged in and just have them run. Sucking air from outside. Whenever the, you know, I guess we could wire them with a relay to the boiler, but. Yeah, he needs fan in a can. All right. So Honeywell zone valves are very, very common here. We never see any Taco zone valves here in New York. Honeywell four-wire zone valves are the norm. Now, real quick, um, there are two screws. There's one screw there and another screw there, right, which hold the motorized um, module to the back plate, right? And if we loosen up both of those, this thing will come out, just like that, right? Mosaic bath. Now, on older models right when you take when you loosen up one of those screws water comes out because you see the configuration these two pins just hold that in place right and these two are the screws from the actual i guess the head of it all right and i don't buy just heads i buy whole whole valves what am i saving a couple bucks you know i have the zone valve right there complete and I buy the whole thing. And it is what it is. They also make this impress, by the way. Uh, Honeywell, which is now called Residio. And they're very, very sneaky over there at Residio. Very, very sneaky. I'm going to tell you how they're sneaky, right? They take a three-quarter IPS zone valve and they throw on two three-quarter pressed by male Viega adapters onto it. <laughs> and they charge you like $40 more. <laughs> Damn, that's some crazy markup right there. Not as much as markup as Pipe Doctor charges, though. Got to make that money. All right, let's get this done. Let me stop pussyfooting around and be a bad here because we have a lot more service calls today. So stay tuned. You're not going to want right. to miss out. Got my zone valve, my new zone valve taken off the body. I'm not touching the lever. We're going to keep it there. And I'm just going to wiggle this in just like that, all right, until it mounts. And then I'm going to take a screwdriver and tighten up that, tighten up that, and then get to wiring. Very all easy. Right. I have the new zone valve head mounted. I got my wires nice, neat, and secure. And just saying, if you think I'm going to go dig in this box and start separating where Yellow's connected where red's connected. You must be smoking crack. There's no way I'm digging in here because this will be at least a few hour ordeal if you've messed something up. And with those wire nuts, uh-uh. So I'm just going to make some splices in here with uh, some new Wagos. Get the job done. Wago, lever 221s. These are awesome, by the way. I'll put a link down in the description box down below. Perfect. New zone valves in place. Pushing in on the end switch right now. And no, no crazy stuff. So I'm walking around this Taj Mahal, right? Because I want to see where those four, five-inch ducks end up. And take a guess what I see. Oh, my God. He's got a chicken coop. Look at this. It's a chicken coop. I think he's friends with Steve Lav. So my client says that these are babies. And he's had chickens for about 15 years now. And he likes them. It's, a, it's fun. And I was like, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Hi, guys. What's doing? 
It's me, Mikey Pipes. Hi. Don't, oh, I don't want to scare you. All right, sorry there, guys. Look at this. It's me. <laughs> that is so effing cool. That is so cool. All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. I enjoy creating it, sharing you with you my experiences in the field and the dilemmas I come across on a daily basis. Now, I'm on site for two hours, all in, found the problem, resolved the problem, the part is on the truck, customer is happy, and client goes, you're the only one who would have been able to figure it out. And I say, well, I don't know. It's like, I wasn't going to give up, but something drew me to those zone valves. I, I looked at the video he sent me and I zoomed in on it and I was watching to see if any of those other relays were chattering because a good technician is observant of his surroundings. Then I noticed that none of the lights were coming on below. Daniel Mini-Me. Oh, Daniel Mini-Me is asking for help. Call a friend. He needs help. All right, sorry. I got lost the trend of thought with there. Daniel called. Needs help. I'm nowhere near around. Mike is half hour left on the job he's at and he's gonna go save him. Davy, um, Davian, Davian. <laughs> Daniel's working on a Navian uh, fire tube combi and customer tried to do some maintenance by himself and didn't know what he was doing. Low water, low water cutoff light came on. He's got air in the system and Daniel is not comprehending how to purge out the heat exchanger. So hopefully Mike can save him. We'll see. All right, guys, let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. What you thought about this video. Hopefully you got something out of it. I enjoy creating it, troubleshooting steps, and scratching my head. And hopefully, uh, hopefully you got something out of it. All right, be well. God bless. Stay safe.